Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss the differences between save and save or update method. All right. So I'm going to explain this, explain the differences between save and save or update method with an example. All right. Let's have a look into the differences. So the main difference between save and save or update is that save method generates a new identifier and it inserts a record into database and it will also return the identifier okay while save or update method can either insert or update based upon the existence, the existence of the record it clears that save or update method is more flexible in terms of use but it involves an extra processing to find out whether the record already exists in a table or not okay so whenever we call a session dot save method, so it will generate a new identifier and it will insert the record into database and it will return the new identifier. Okay, and whenever we call a save or update method, so it post it will check whether the record is already exists in a database or not. So based on that, it will uh, you know uh, execute the statement. So if the record is already exist, then it will it will you know execute SQL update statement. Otherwise, it will execute the insert SQL statement. Okay. And the second difference is the return type. So session method uh, you know returns a serializable object. So as as I said, so session you know session dot save method will generate a new identifier and it will return right. So it will return uh, as a serializable object. But while return type of say or update method is wide, so it does not does not return anything. Okay, so let me explain these two differences with an example. All right, so I am an Eclipse ID. So to explain these differences, I have created a sample Hibernate project, and I have created a, you know sample code to demonstrate uh, no difference between say and say or update method. All right, first let's have a look into the save method. So look at here the return type first. So session.save method uh, returns a serializable or interface object. So let me execute the application and let me show you. So look at here the identifier I have printed to the console. Uh, and whenever we run the application, then this will be printed on the console. So we can have a look into it. So let me run the application now. Yeah, here we go. The insert SQL statement is executed and it will return the new identifier that is that was generated and that is printed on a console. Okay, so this thing we, we were printed right uh, here. We kept this out to print ID to the console. Okay, so this is how the session.co method works. Uh, it, return, it returns the identifier as a serializable object. Perfect, right? So let's have a look into the save or update example method. So look at uh, I have created uh, you know um, uh, a sample piece of code here to demonstrate save or method, save or update method. So first of all, save or update method does not return anything. So it returns wide here. It means that it does not return anything. And uh, so so here I'm just first I'm saving a student object into a database so student record is not exist in a database so so save or update method will execute insert statement here okay and next is so i retrieve the student object from the database by using session.get method and i update this student to object here and again i, I will call save or update method to to update this record okay it means that in this case it will execute SQL insert statement and in this case it will execute SQL update statement okay let me uh, execute the application and let me show you the demo yeah here it is so here we are calling save or update example Okay. 
get school so look at here so first uh, you know save our update method will you know uh, execute the insert statement here and then it have executed update statement right that's clear right uh, how the session or save, met, uh, save or update method works okay so it will first check whether the record already exists in a database so based on that it will call uh, it will execute the insert or update sql statements okay that's cool so uh, that's all so i hope you find this video useful thanks for watching i will see you next video